My name is Dr. Niraj Agarwal. I'm a professor of medicine and director of genital urinary oncology program at the Huntsman Cancer Institute, University of Utah in Salt Lake City. Here, I'm going to talk about the Titan study, which was a phase three trial leading to approval of apalutamide, a potent direct androgen receptor blocker for patients with metastatic castration sensitive prostate cancer. I'm going to be talking about how apalutamide affected quality of life, especially fatigue in our patients with metastatic castration sensitive prostate cancer who were benefiting as far as survival outcomes were concerned. So how this drug was affecting quality of life and different aspects of quality of life and fatigue. So let's look at the clinical trial design first. This is a phase three trial. We can see here a large trial, more than 1000 patients. Primary endpoint was overall survival. Actually, there were dual primary endpoints of OS and RPFS, radiographic progression-free survival, with multiple other secondary endpoints. The patients who had a newly diagnosed metastatic prostate cancer were eligible to participate in this trial, and they were randomized to ADT plus apalutamide versus placebo plus ADT. So placebo was there in the control arm, and in the experimental arm, patients got apalutamide, everyone got received androgen deprivation therapy. At the time of first interim analysis, after a median follow-up of 22 months, there was an improvement, significant impro improvement in radiographic PFS and overall survival with a 33% reduction in risk of death with apalutamide leading to approval of apalutamide in 2019. And this is the data from our paper in New England Journal of Medicine, which was published at the same time in 2019. We just published the final analysis data in General of Clinical Oncology, where, where we collected the data from after a longer follow-up of four years. And please note that 40% patients on placebo arm had crossed over to the apalutamide arm after results were unblinded, after study was unblinded in 2019. And we know when patients on placebo arm switched over to apalutamide or experimental arm, that has the potential to attenuate the survival benefit or the degree of survival benefit. To our pleasant surprise, we did not see any attenuation of survival benefit, 35% reduction in risk of death after a longer follow-up. And actually, when you account for placebo patients switching over to the experimental arm of apalutamide at the time, 48% reduction in risk of death after you standardize, you use standardized statistical tool to adjust for the crossover, 48% reduction risk of death. These are very impressive data, actually unprecedented improvement in survival with apalutamide in metastatic hormone sensitive prostate cancer. We also presented in the recent American Urology Association annual meeting in 2021, the degree of PSA response was associated with improvement in survival. And we can see in this, cap, in this uh, picture here, patients who actually were able to achieve a PSA nadir of less than 0.2 nanogram per mil versus not, there was an 80% reduction risk of death in those patients. So that also tells us the value of PSA response in these patients. So let's look at the health-related quality of life, which we published originally in Lancet Oncology in 2019. And as we can see here, validated tools which are used worldwide in across the cancer types were assessed, were used to interrogate, to assess how our patients were doing from the symptom perspective, how their quality of life was affected. So pain, fatigue, health-related quality of life. And we can see here the pain scores, the fatigue levels, especially in this picture. If you look at how apalutamide was affecting fatigue, there was no difference in the fatigue level, how patients were experiencing fatigue in the experimental arm of apalutamide versus control arm. There was no difference in fatigue. And these data, these pictures are really remarkable in my view. And they really helped me with patient counseling because our patients were not only experiencing tremendously improved survival outcomes or benefit in survival, they were not experiencing deterioration in the quality of life or fatigue. We can see here again, 
patient who had worse fatigue at baseline had the most improvement. Again, health-related quality of life data from different scales, such as European quality, five-dimensional, five-level scale, all, or functional assessment of cancer therapy, prostate scale, validated scales which are used across the cancer type did not show any worsening of quality of life. We can see the different aspects of quality of life, physical well-being, emotional well-being, functional well-being, and all of these are showing similar quality of life in both patients receiving apalutamide or placebo. And again, these patients are deriving significantly improved survival outcomes. Benefit, side effect bother is a scale which encompasses all symptoms. You simply have to ask patient, how are you bothered or how much you are bothered by this drug? And this is such a powerful question because our patients doesn't matter which side effect is this, if it is bothering the patient, patient will tell, yes, it is being he is being bothered. And we can see here is there's patients who are not more bothered by apalutamide versus placebo from the side effect perspective. We also recently published in Journal of Urology, our focused analysis on pain and fatigue in patients on the TITAN trial. And we can see here, it is very clear that treatment with apalutamide was obviously improving pain. Pain is a marker of efficacy and patients were experiencing benefit in pain. So most of the scales of pain, they tend to show benefit with apalutamide. But I think the more interesting part here is fatigue because fatigue is a marker of toxicity of a drug. And we can look at the fatigue part. I, was, I would expect that if you are hitting our body with the deep androgen receptor signaling inhibitors, we will be experiencing fatigue, more fatigue than if you are not getting that drug. But surprisingly, to our pleasant surprise again, we are not seeing any worsening of fatigue. And these are the different aspects of how fatigue is affecting our body, our mood, our walking, our enjoyment of life, our relationships. And we are not seeing apalutamide affecting fatigue more than placebo. So I'd like to conclude by saying that in our phase three trial, in the phase three trial, which led to approval of apalutamide for patients with metastatic castration sensitive prostate cancer by showing significant improvement in overall survival and radiographic progression free survival, we did not see any effect, adverse effect on quality of life and especially fatigue as reported by patients themselves. With that, I can confidently say that apalutamide is and can be considered a standard of care for our patients with metastatic castration sensitive prostate cancer. And especially these data should assure our patients and providers that we will improve survival outcomes significantly in our patients without compromising their quality of life. Thank you very much for listening.